All right now, coming to you live from the studios of Los Angeles, California for another edition of We Love Rare Grooves for this first Monday in November. And if it's first Monday, gentlemen, that means we are funking it up for Funkify Mondays here on We Love Rare Grooves. Thank you for tuning in all over the globe. Yes, indeed, we are here funking it up tonight. We getting bell bottom funky tonight. Oh yeah. On We Love Rare Grooves. I'm here with my C Mo's as your host, and I can't do it without the team of We Love Rare Grooves. DJ DeVoe, the world famous hey. DJ DeVoe, hey. bringing it in funky five Mondays. How you doing, my good man? Shout out to all my Scorpios in the world. That is right. That's Scorpio? Yep, Scorpio. It's our month. Okay, this is your month then. All right. Hey. You a Scorpio? Scorpio, yes. What's your sign? Explains a lot. Yes, oh, yes, uh, yes. All right. Yeah, okay. Load on on that. And stewed and brewed and marinated just right. Nice. <laughs> and you got your boy over there side kicking it. DJ Reg in the house. What up, what up, what up, what up? Happy Monday. Ah, Funkified Mondays. Funkified. And we're doing Funkified. it. Funkified. We're getting hey. funky tonight. Yes. That's how we do it. And we got the producer extraordinaire, Mr. Greg New York Sneed. I went a little low on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, he ain't feeling too good. I, I, need, uh, the, I need some consolation. Yeah. Oh, our condolences. My Mets couldn't pull it out, man. But you know what? They got to the series. That's right. They, they got, got there. That's right. You know, a lot of That's teams right. didn't make it there, so. I know we don't have to go there. Yeah. Y'all made it there. They, they made yeah. it there, and uh, maybe it was just practice for next year. Okay. Well, that means you're going to get real funky tonight, then. Yeah. yeah. You're going to get real funky tonight. We're going down in the groove vault. That's right. So I had to switch over to my Knicks now. You know, I got to represent New York still. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you smile there, doesn't it? Hey, the Knicks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the season to start, you know. So I, I look forward to the game when they play the Grizzlies. Hmm. <laughs> <In your culture. laughs> and we have the lovely, the lovely and talented co-host, Miss Shantani Ari. How are you, my hey. dear? Good, I'm good. Hey. How was your week? Very good. Very, Very good. busy. Very busy. Mm-hmm. You got some new things going on, new projects. Anything? Ho- hopefully. I didn't audition today, so hopefully. Nothing you want to share? Oh, it was for the Motown musical that's going to be here. Oh, okay. We look forward, so I can get some tickets. Yeah, well, I got to get it first. We'll see. That's, I know we're going to get it. We got it. It's in the bag. Right. We're going to put it out there now. The look, trip. opening night, we're going to have our uh, we, we Love Rare Groove shirts on, screaming her name out. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> here they go, Absolutely. making all that noise <laughs> in the front. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> we know her. Hey, that's we, my girl right there. <laughs> Man, we hey, we was at a party on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. It was like Eyes Wide Shut. Is that the movie oh, Eyes Wide Shut? <laughs> it is. Shades of Grey. It was it was it was uh They had Dungeons and Chains. Ooh. Man, but no. It was great. I'm going to shout out to our girl for 50th, Tammy. Yeah, Tammy Dickerson. Shout Tammy out to Dickerson. Tammy, yeah. They put Happy it down. Happy birthday, Tammy. And the Baker production. Man, they put it down. Yeah, we had yeah. a great time. Yeah. Let's see how she can do it. But again, we love Red Grooves. Tell them, Greg, how can they follow us tonight listening and call in? They should call us at 323-965-1600. 323 Please, please give us a call. I'm brought to you by Wings Limousine. Will you ride? Ride like a star. Yes, wee, indeed. Wee, 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 wee. Wings Limousine. And also, Andrea James, the town crier. Yeah. And Versatile Production. Yeah. Joe Jones presenting the R&B live concert with Kashif. What's up, Joe? Shout out, I saw his son uh, on uh, the Cypher on the BET Awards. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Casey right. Veggies was putting it in. So, okay. Shout out to Joe and his son. Doing Joe big got things. He got his Taco Tuesday going on at the Regency. So, we'll hear more about that. But right now, it's really about the music. That's what we yeah. love. love. Red uh, Root. So, we get in the vault tonight. We getting funky because it's Funkified Mondays. We getting ready to reach peaks that we haven't 
reached before. We get ready to go deep down in the vault. Deep. A new low in peaks, right? Right, a new low. <laughs> 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 and our, we're going to do it. Or as, uh, as a poet said, deep like depressed golfers. <laughs> deep like depressed <laughs> golfers. <laughs> Go- All right. <laughs> And I got to remember who said that. because that, that, Before that. we go on, the, the, our young whippersnapper, Chris, said, man, take this call. So we got a call on the phone before we go on to the show. We're going to change up. So who do we have on the line? We love Red Grooves. Turn your radio my down. Name, my, na- my name is Grant Clark, uh, Clifton Junebug, mostly <laughs> zone boy. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow Junebug. Okay. Right. Okay. What's going on, G-Dog? What's happening with you, bro? Down in the ATL. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm all in support my homeboy. See what y'all doing this evening. Man, turn it up. You need to crank up the volume. You, know, you remember how we used to have the techniques, man, and the speakers. You need to crank it up like we back in Homewood in the hill. Well, I did have the volume up. I had to go on the other side of the room and get away when they said turn the volume. I had to go on the other <laughs> side of the room. But That's right. When I, when I hang up, I got y'all cranked. All right. Listening in. Are all you right. in Atlanta? Yes, I am. I heard ATL. the Falcons got whooped yesterday. Ooh, well, see, I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, see, so that, that's my okay. team. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, same all same right. place to see Mo. All right, okay, Steelers, all right. That's yeah. right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> what the Steelers do? Exactly, uh, exactly. We know, we know, we what know. What are they we doing? <laughs> we don't want to talk about that. We ain't going to go there. We ain't going there right now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, G, I'll see you soon, man. I'll see you next month. We we'll go right, for the man, Cincinnati game. Too. All right, brother. All right. Thanks for calling. Y'all take care. All right. All right. All right. Let's do this, man. Take yeah, us away. Yeah. Look at that. They, uh-oh, the show getting ready to start. Oh, yeah. They lighting it up on us. That's side. right. You see how they are on the other side of the country? Mm-hmm. They getting ready to get this groove started tonight. Take me away, DJ DeVoe.
Man, we love rare grooves. That that was rare right there, that last one. Yeah. That, that, that was real rare. Man. We went down in the vault for that, didn't we, Shantanee? Yeah. How far in the vault did we go on that one? Uh, 400 pounds in the vault. <laughs> hey. 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 It, it was so rare, we had to send it back to the kitchen and tell them, cook it some more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Burn it! Burn it! Burn it! <laughs> Baby Huey. It was still bleeding. Still Baby bleeding. <laughs> What about Baby Huey? <laughs> well, he's from Chicago. He was 400 pounds and 6'5". But he didn't sing like he was 400 pounds. No, no he, didn't he didn't have the heaviness on his voice. Sound like a good 395 to me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but he was from Chicago, and he passed away before um, they finished his last album. The Living Legend Project? Right. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he's Why? been sampled a lot, too. Right. Who, right. who is some some of the people that sampled him on there? I know Wu Tang. Space sang. Killer. Yep, Wu Tang. They sampled a lot. And okay. Curtis Mayfield. No. Yeah. Cu- yeah. Two fingers. Two right, fingers. and he even did the one um, from um, Time Sam Cook. The, the, the Sam Cook song he even did over and they. But change is gonna come. Right, change okay. is gonna come in hard times. But hey, he was one of those. He didn't even make it to be the one-hit wonder, but man, the legend lives on. That, yeah. That's pretty interesting. Well, it's a trip because it. You know, that digging in the crates, you know, a producer will find an artist like him, like his sound, and then they'll go through all his music looking for, for samples for, for hip-hop as well as R&B. So, uh, you know, he's been revived and, and uh, brought back in as, as, as a rare here. groove. Yeah. Right, that's what we do here on We right. Love Rare Grooves, because people now, they'll listen to it and go look for it, you know, because mm-hmm. you can't Shazam it. And who else we have, Greg? Well, we let off with uh, Roy Ayers. We got got him in the uh, background. Roy Ayers is a native of Los Angeles. And um, he went to school, uh, you know, grew up in South Central. And uh, I guess in the area that's called South Park. So he went to uh, Wadsworth Elementary, Nevins Middle School, and Thomas Jefferson High School. Went to Jeff. Jeff, huh? yeah. Jeff. Is that yeah. still open? Yeah. yeah. I think so, open. yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. Uh-huh. 41st it. and Central. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How'd you know? How'd Jeff? Who knows? On. You know all the big high. <laughs> Jeff, you knew a Jeff, Fremont, Locke. Washington. Okay. They're all in the same area. He North go to Crenshaw. Yeah. Uh-uh. Right. He go to Washington. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, now we, it's funny. We were talking about Roy for the last few weeks, man. We got to get Roy on. We talked about him as far as last week. It was more like the godfather of Acid Neil. Jack. Well, no, Neil Soul, we were mm-hmm. saying. Now it's like Acid Jack. You, you yeah, made that up. I don't believe it. Yeah. He ain't, huh? God, he ain't no godfather of Neil Soul. No. Wow, I just, I, Greg's Greg, a dream killer today. I, 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 no, Neo, so, not, Neo Soul not. is more the the current wave uh, post '90s of uh, Army Rebirth and Soul. No, that's re- he's original Soul. I'm going to send dream you information killer. where I got it from. He's original. <laughs> wow, uh, I, wow, I, I, wow. I, I, I'll dispute that one. Yeah, well, yeah. you could dispute, but yeah, <laughs> yeah no Neo <laughs> Soul. No, no far uh, from it. Yeah, acid jazz. Isn't Neo mm. Soul more like Jill Scott and Indy Irene? Yeah, it's yeah. it's more of a rebirth. Like it was a like new Erica song. Badu right. and all them. Isn't right. That when when right. that whole wave came out and it was like, you know, it was different than uh, I mean, it means you know, the new, new soul. edition. Right. 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 Soul. Roy Ayers was original soul. He came right. out in the seventies with right. Right. Uh, right. Roy as ubiquity. Right. He you was know. he was on that yeah. pioneer forefront with Ronnie and those guys. Yeah. Ronnie yeah. lost Lonnie Liston Smith as we go down the road. Mm-hmm. He played, he played with uh, 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 coffee and and. Um, uh, this stuff Broke. with um, you know the the black exploitation black films. cinema right the black cinema films yeah. of the seventies yeah. so no he's he's original so he's original so well educate us yeah, yeah. you've been educated yeah and okay. sampled to to the hill oh uh, I yeah, mean hip hop the man. funniest thing Mary J Bly her song uh, which is his original Sunshine everybody thought that was her. As the original, I can't think of the the name of her song, but she used the yeah, sample. Everybody loves. She did all covers when she first came out. All she did was covers. Mary J. Blige when she first she came out. She sampled, yeah. Every no, she sampled. So, she, she, she covered like I can't. My life. It's called my life. I said yeah. my life. You guys yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She I covered a, a lot of songs. But my life is not a cover. That's a sample. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I mean well, she the changed other ones the lyrics, she did, right? She right. Yeah, she did a lot of samples. But then Tribe Called Quest. One of their big hits was a, uh, uh, a sample uh, from uh, one of his albums. The, I think it was the Roy Air something project. 
Um, but uh, yeah, that, I mean, hip hop has gone through. They, they need to cut him a check. Yeah. Now, what's and the story with Peter Brown? So Peter Brown uh, album is, is, is originally from the Chicago area. All right. Yeah, so we got Chicago. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's interesting. He got started because his dad was into um, gadgets and engineering. And he got his start. It was just, uh, I was putting something on the on Facebook the other day. He got his start playing around with reel to reel tape. Yep. Wow. Oh. Real, yeah, you're right. Now, this real. album cover, you guys will remember this. I wouldn't. But what is like, was that considered to be Risque? pushing the line and, in, in you know? Uh, absolutely not. Not he doing said that. No, Reggie said no. We're not doing it because you had all the Ohio had players, all players every- putting stuff out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Parliament. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, Everybody. had some really crazy albums. Yeah, that's uh, and that one I had good thing with Fazo. Yeah. I love that album ago. though. I mean, I I like that cover. She's that good. would make me want to buy the album. <laughs> I don't think you make you want to buy the album. I think well, for me, it would make me want. I don't know what it make y'all want. It make me want to buy the album. Really? Yeah. No, it's yeah, sensual. It's, it's, it's sensual. Yeah, it is sensual. It would make me like, hey, what's this about? So you, what's it about? What's I want to listen about? to the music. Oh my God, you guys are what's out of control. All about? I, I see a nip. <laughs> it's eye catching, is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's a nip and tuck. It it's looks exactly like a, nip. it actually looks right. like a peeping tom. Like we're giving the view of looking in her while she's like, oh, that, that's. It true. does have that go. peeping tom. Okay. Voyeurism, yeah. Yeah, voyeurism. Yeah, it does. Right. Okay. I like voyeurism. Thank you, Devo. Not no peeping tom. Well, we can. <laughs> as we Same on, difference. Right? <laughs> <laughs> as we can, um, That's what he so. tells the police when they catch him. <laughs> <laughs> she should have pulled the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Two strings. <laughs> oh man, we love rare grooves. Give us a call at 323-965-16. Now just streaming live on rmconair.com. Brought to you by Wings Limousine, where we ride like a star. Wing, 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 wing. Limousine, where we get it right on the first time and create the magic in your night. The owner of Wings Limousine, Deborah Leggins, established her company of solid principles. Bring service with a smile and laughter. I drive people around from girls' night out, weddings, airport pickups, quinceañeras, you name it, that's what I do. She has received several awards from the Better Business Bureau, from the mayor's office, as well as the governor. She has courted several celebrities to red carpet events and has served as the official transportation company of the Sparks and the Clippers. Beyond Wings' fleet of luxury cars, Wings also has special party buses to Vegas or a more intimate ride using our one-of-a-kind Mercedes Sprinter. And if your company wants to brand their name on our vehicles, we also offer wrapping. Remember just one, the name you can trust for superior service. Wings Limousine. Call now for reservations. Just once. That's right. Wings Limousine, where you ride like a star. They got a special going on, $300 for four hours. So give a call, Wings Limousine. Show the flyer there, and they're at Wings Limousine, wingslimo.com. And what's the phone number there, Young Whippersnapper? 323-965-1600. That's our phone number. That, three, yeah. two, right. <laughs> 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 Wings you only don't know. Oh, three, two, three. Two, three. Yeah. <laughs> three, two, three, two, nine, nine, four, eight, four, seven. Again, that's three, two, three, two, nine, nine, four, six, four, seven. Wings Limousine Service. Wings Limo Service Do they have party buses? Yes. Yeah. They have party buses. We're going to do a party bus. We're going to do a party bus for you. Wait, 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 I want one with a pole in it, though. Hey. Okay. hey! Not for me, not for me. What, for well, you girl mentioned girlfriend? I might bring some girlfriends. Hey. She, she meant some guy from Poland, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> As we continue. My. Hey, we getting funkified here tonight on Funkified Mondays. How funky can we get, Yeah, ladies and gentlemen? How funky can we get? So funky. How funky can we get? What? Hey.
Uh. We love rare grooves. And what rare grooves can pull that out is of it? so funny. <laughs> <laughs> what rare grooves can pull out for you? Oh, yeah. Man, we got it. Before that, though, we got a, a, a great concert because this guy is coming back. Well, not coming back. Well, it could because I haven't heard of Kashif in a while, Greg. Nah, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. So he, he's coming back live. So when are we going to see him at Versatile Productions? Well, Versatile Productions, uh, Joe Jones is going to be uh, having the six-time Grammy-nominated artist Kashif in concert. That's going to be Thursday, November 12th. Man, it seemed like it was a, a while ago. That's coming up soon. Yeah, right, it did. Right. When we it's 10 days started. from now, right? Right. Because we've been doing it for a couple of weeks. So yeah, it, it seemed since. like it was like, yeah, it was like next month. Now November is here. So that's going to be the Catalina Jazz Club. Uh, that's located at 6725 West Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood. And uh, the tickets are uh, going to be available you can call RS for RSVP or for VIP tickets at 323-466-2210. That's, again, that's 323-466-2210. They're going to have two shows. The first show is going to be 7 p.m. and dinner with an 8.30 show time. And then the second show, 10.15 uh, dinner with a 10.30 show time. Tickets are $35 for general admission and $45 for the VIP. Hey. So again, that's uh, Joe Jones and Versatile Productions. Kashif going to be at Catalina Jazz Club Thursday, November 12. Call 323-466-2210. Be there or be square. <laughs> that's and that Kashif sound right there, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And next week, he will be joining us in studio. Hey, hey y'all didn't know that right. Kashif. What a coincidence. Right, then he <laughs> join us and see how, how did that happen? Can yeah. you show us that, Chris? He'll be here next week. All right. We have Kashif in yeah. the house. And we wanted to give a shout out to Joe Jones making that happen, man. We yeah, his unsung was uh, phenomenal. I watched it uh, yeah. the other night. So we so look Definitely to- check out his unsung, man, what he had to overcome as a child. Mm-hmm. Uh, being abused, and he, he just took that... Uh, his uh, tragedy, man, and, and put it into his music. And, and, and I didn't know he. To, I didn't know he played with BT next Express. Next, no, 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 don't give it away. Right, next week for the show. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Oh, don't give it away for next week. It's breaking news for next week. A little teaser. A little teaser. Right. Yeah, 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 man. Stop it. And then, That's that Scorpio. Dangle that cat. Yeah. yeah. And then real quick, I just want Joe want to give us another shout out. If you bring up that flyer, if you look in there, it says Joe Jones. Tomorrow he got Kathleen Bradley, who was one of the first. Bob Parker and let's yeah, Price come is to right. Price, Price is, is right. right. Yeah. yeah. So she's gonna be tomorrow at the Regency West. So that's Joe that's, Jones. You know that's Miss Parker, right? Oh, from a Friday. From Friday. Ms. That's Parker. right. Miss Parker, right? That's my homegirl Cheyenne's mother. So she'll oh. be there tomorrow from Cheyenne, yeah. mm-hmm. five to midnight at the Regency West, thirty three thirty nine West Forty Third Street here in L A. Uh, call three one zero two five one seven three zero five for VP Versatile Produ- Productions. Hey, you getting it done, DJ. There it City, is. The mom. Lord is my shepherd. He know what I want, Miss Parker. Yeah. Miss Parker. Right. <laughs> we was just playing. We was Special just playing. Special surprises. So no cover. Come on out starting at 5 o'clock at midnight. Happy hour from 5 to 7. Yep. Hey. Taco Tuesdays. Taco, Joe. taco, taco. Putting it down. As we continue on with the show, so we had some songs there. I'm gonna let Greg and Shantani go on to them before. <laughs> ah, you got to bring that back up, that is young so whippersnapper. Funny. So we started off with um, a thing by Funk Incorporated, and they were out of um, I want to say read a thing out of Baltimore. That was a nice little funky beat. They were from. Um I, I uh, was a uh, uh, Charles Barkley that Indianapolis, well, was, right? In, in, Indianapolis, Indianapolis. Oh Indianapolis. You're pulling into Annapolis, Maryland. Indianapolis, from Indiana. Indianapolis. Uh, that was uh, Bobby Watley, Eugene Barr, Steve Weekly, Jimmy Mumford, and Cecil Hunt. Hey, they put it down, man. Only on We Love Red Groove. Yeah, they've been sampled a lot too. So the first album was um, back in 1971. That was Funk Inc. Then they did a song, uh, album called Chicken Lickin', Hanging Out, Super Funk, Price to Sell. And then uh, the last one was Urban Renewal. That was 1995. So okay. they've been around for a little bit. A couple mm-hmm. decades. 
Then when we had Funky Mama Soul Beats, that was just a funky beat that we found. Yeah, it was funky. Yeah, it's funky. very funky. Very. And then we had Black Sugar. Black Sugar. And they, yeah, how black was that sugar? Oh, man, Black Sugar was black. I heard of brown sugar, but black sugar. Is black that sugar. What is that like? It's got to be Understa- all right. Understanding the funk, man, from 1972. So we put it down. <laughs> that was, a, was that a Peruvian band? It was a what? Peruvian. They were from Peru. Were, right. They were. Oh, yeah, wow. They, yep. Peru. 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 And then we closed it out with um, Black Murder. And if you look over there, if you pull that back up. <laughs> yes. On the yes. Yeah. Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that, that, who that murder was the case that they gave Ava, who that was our baby so daddy? so funny. It's so Well, he has that kids, that but daddy. I'm not one of them. You wanted that go How you baby know? daddy. No, I'm, not, I'm definitely not, because they were married Listen long before I was born. Listen to this, folks, out in the air. But my mother, um, that was my mother's husband. They were married when she was 22, so. I was born when she was 37, so there's a big difference there. But he, they, sure. it's her first, that was her first love, her first everything, as far as I know. And um, they got married. They ran away. Oh, they got married in Toledo. They eloped in Toledo and got married. Holy. And so um, I remember re- I mean, I saw that name. I said, like, God, that looks familiar. But he's still alive and he lives in Detroit and they still talk. And they're still very friendly. My mother still has his last name legally, too, which is strange. But <laughs> Oh, so Hawkins. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's uh-huh. Gwendolyn Owens Hawkins. Yeah, okay. legally. Yeah. And, you know, they're considered the first black rock band. Black mm-hmm. Murder. Active from the mid '60s and '70s, and then uh, they so they they were born in, in South. Yeah, his in mother the, and okay. all from yeah, and then they went up to Detroit to like a lot of black people did back then, moved up north. Still doing it, you know. Mm-hmm. But he's still there in Detroit, and he still records. He has his own studio there, and they still work. The Hawkins brothers, huh? Mm-hmm. So, uh, so they were funk rock, psychedelic rock, blues rock, any type of thing with rocks, psychedelic soul. They. They did it all, and that's mm-hmm. that's that's why you got your roots from, probably, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, them rocks, rocks. <laughs> what what an irony to that, because you didn't. When even I know. saw that, I was in shock. I could not, because I'm like that name sounds so familiar, Black Murder. And my mother talks about that stuff. You know, parents they repeat themselves. So I was like, I know that name. That's so funny. And you didn't even know that from the playlist, did you? No, because the way it was spelled, I'm like, I'm thinking it's spelled murder. murder. Okay. So I'm like, murder, what is that? That's funny. As we continue on with the show, We Love Red Grooves, give us a call. This time the number, 323-965-1600. Sure about that? 323-965. One six zero zero. Streaming live. <laughs> WWRMC on air. Uh oh. Uh oh. We getting ready to put it down now. Hey. We love red. Goose to you. Just for
We love rare grooves. Man, that was funky. Yeah. Yep. Oh, funky. yeah. How we do it here on We Love Rare Grooves. Nowhere else is you going to hear it like this. And then we find out information about our family members. <laughs> Absolutely. Just never know. Just never. don't never know. <laughs> and you pulled, you got to bring out the vault sound for that because she found her stepdaddy in the vault. Oh my God. Her Not step my dad, stepdaddy. Her stepdaddy <laughs> was in the vault. You know, we reached her way pre-daddy. My her pre daddy. My pre daddy. <laughs> pre daddy, yeah. <laughs> Her yeah, pre- they don't lie. Yeah, a pre daddy yeah. day. A pre daddy with black murder. Yeah. <laughs> Not my daddy, but my pre daddy. Oh, Should have been you. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so who was we jamming on earlier? Well, most recently there, we just had the Crown Heights affair from Crown Heights, Brooklyn, neighborhood where I grew up. Oh, really? Yeah. Were you proud when they came out? Yeah, actually. Yeah, they did a lot of, um, they performed a lot. Obviously, you know, you got a local group. They performed all over the place, uh-huh. you know, before they actually uh, got hit out. it. Yeah. And then um, they uh, came out uh, 1975. So they were, you know, big in the R&B, disco, dance. and um, Yeah, I mean, so it was a lot of, a lot of members, too. They had, I mean, there was a lot of. It was guys. like 200 of them. <laughs> really? No, yeah, they probably had about 11. About 11, uh, 11 folks, you know. So 110 yeah. then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, They all played instruments too, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. They were jamming the yeah, crowd. They jam. They jam. What was Crown Heights like <clears throat> when you were growing up? Crown Heights was, um, its origin I think had been mixed. It was been, um, there's an area of Crown Heights that has a, Hasidic Jews. Mm-hmm. Um, That's right. Brooklyn has the largest population of uh, Hasidic Lubavitch, Jews. Uh, then um, uh, the black population, and then that was the area where a lot of the folks from the Caribbean moved into. So oh, okay. Jamaica, Trinidad, and uh, that's where the West Indian Day Festival is uh, held on Eastern Parkway. Oh, so okay. So every Labor Day, uh, it's in the uh, Crown Heights area, and, and the crowd has come down, but um, in its heyday, the parade used to draw about two million people. Yeesh. Yeah. <laughs> so wow. now they're down to like 1.2, 1.3 million, mm-hmm. but it's still a huge, huge event. So, wow. Um, but nope. that's uh, Crown Heights, yeah. And then uh, before that, who do we have? We had um, Cloud One. I was trying to find some information on Cloud One. You Did can't you? find anything. That I was a, find, yeah. That was a promotional copy that came <laughs> back to my memory, man. I yeah. had a promotional copy of that, and that was it on the 12-inch. That was all they did, huh? Yeah, it was it on the 12-inch. Couldn't find yeah. nothing else. Any seeds on that one, man? No, nah, it was a 12-inch promotional <laughs> copy. Couldn't, were, couldn't, I would have lost my seeds. They were eight, <laughs> they were eight clouds short, huh? <laughs> they really didn't get to cloud nine. It's cloud one, it's just like, ah, they just fell off. That is so funny. <laughs> No cloud left. Yeah, right. Just a fog. Mm-hmm. And uh, then I, there was some noise before that. I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> I think we. Oh my god. We must have gotten some cross wire hey, from hey, the hey, remix. Hey, give him a remix the one more time. Next door or something yeah. like that. <laughs> I don't wow. know what that was. That was. <laughs> what that was is that? A break in the code or something like that. Okay. What the K stand for to see what was it? <laughs> I don't know. You're breaking it up. Is. You're breaking up. Hey, right. what's, what's all that noise? Is, is that just noise right there? <laughs> all right, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had Hugh Master Caleb, man. Give me some Hugh. So Hugh, uh, you know, originated from the country of South Africa. Oh, Yama. And um, he is plays the trumpet. Flugelhorn, uh, he's a composer, singer, and um, he is currently age 76. He's still out there, still out there doing his thing. He like George, right. him and George should have a takeoff. Who's the oldest one out there still carrying the party? George mm-hmm. Clinton or Hugh Master Kayla? Yeah, well, I think Hugh's probably still doing his uh, music thing. George is just off, still off the chain. <laughs> That's my boy, though, George. Yeah, you can't you can't take nothing away. Nope. Hey. Imagine the parties that he has done over his, you know. Whew. I'm imagining the parties I was with him. Mm. <laughs> Yikes! Yeah. You know, is he still wearing them colorful braids? No, no he took them out now. He got a fedora on, a Suits. double-breasted what? suit. Get out of yeah, here! They when about. he first started, on his unsung, he uh, he had a finger wave. Oh yeah, because he was with a duo band. He started yeah. out yeah, with a duo exactly. band. Exactly. 
And then before that, we had the group Sky, also from uh, New York City. The and, sisters. Um, there were some fine sisters in Sky, boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How many were there? Three. No, one big one, one small one. <laughs> wow. Are you serious? Sky. You remember the song, Call Me If yeah. You Need Someone to Yeah. That's, that was Sky. Yeah, it was three sisters. But it was yeah. really one big one and one Yeah, one. we don't need oh. no music. No, he, no, he, Denise, oh. Bonnie, and came Dolores. back again in the eight, later right. 80s with, uh, what was that, uh, Object of My Desire? No, that's Star Point, man. <laughs> You're right. hey, hey, group, hey, hey. So they were also from Brooklyn. <laughs> New York bound, baby. Yeah, that's what you know. Got to represent today. Uh, yeah, I get it, my constellations mixed up. Absolutely. But again, we want to thank our sponsors, <laughs> Wings Limousine, where we ride like a star. Joe Jones, Versatile, Versatile Productions, and mm-hmm. bringing us Kasif and Johnson's Trophies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Johnson's Trophies, where they honor the best with the best trophies, plaques, and more for all occasions. We, they offer you a variety of services, so stop by, give them a call. Located at 3630 West Lawson Avenue in Los Angeles, California. The phone number is 323-299-0921. They're open Mondays through Friday. So go there and ask for Johnny, right? That's for Johnny, that's right. Jo- Johnny. 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 Hey, Johnny. Go down Johnny there and don't. get you a big Johnson, right? <laughs> <laughs> but Johnson's Trophy. Johnson's they, Trophy, oh, yes, right. they, they take yeah. care of us, man. They keep. We got a lot of happy artists that come through yeah, here that's with right. the award right. from good Johnson's trophies, Good trophies, trophies. Man. Yeah, black on too. He does black good on. stuff. Black. Does good stuff. Mm-hmm. And then my dear Shantani, go ahead. What you got going on? What you, what you gonna got? Play now? So this Saturday, I'm performing with my twin brother Xavier and myself. We're performing in Riverside, and it's gonna be. It's, doors open at eight. It's twenty one and over. Obviously, it's a ten dollar cover, and we're performing. We're opening for Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings, and it's um. You is know, that, is that Sharon Jones right there? I guess. I don't know. You don't I even know. That, that, don't that, know? that don't look like you. That ain't me. <laughs> no. I'm just trying to. And then the DJs are Bobby Soul and um, one of the record executives, Mark Morales, and they they're spinning um, oldies. Um, is that, why the soul flyer, that's and why the flyer, is that why the flyer looks like 1970? Yeah, they try okay. to go for that little. It's probably okay. a little bit pre that, but it's okay. in Riverside and at uni- on University Avenue, so it'll be fun. I think I'm sure it'll be fun. But all right, well, yeah. we'll be there supporting you in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. When I saw Riverside, I was like, "What?" Yeah, yeah. I might have like, to dust my uh, and I ain't put on my tap shoes in <laughs> <laughs> ever. <laughs> but I think they're gonna play some ska, and I, they're probably gonna do yeah some ah, old ska. ska music. Yeah, ska. What? Wow. what you know music? about ska? Of course, ska. I know what about ska? ska. Really? My label that's they they have about two or three ska artists. Every show that we do, we have at least one ska artist that performs. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, Periscope mm-hmm. it. I will. Please. I will. Bring it back to the show and let us see. I what am following you. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> as we continue with the show, as we're going to close out with another set and uh, keep it rolling as DJ DeVoe and DJ Reggie is slamming it in tonight on We Love Red Grooves, giving us the groovy style. Yeah. Oh 
disco. They were loud dance disco. Are you sure that's not a woman in the bottom right? No. No, they're all men. Men. Hmm. Big time men. It's a very pretty looking man. They were going up against the village people. Pretty Ricky, what they called it. That song happened, even though we do rare grooves, but that that was a funky song. And it, it had the nerve to be number one at this time. Yeah. Child. Back in yeah. 76. But I like it. Know. It's hot, though. It's still hot. I mean, you can still rock a party with it if you mix yeah, it right. They, they had two hits. Two hits and done. They did? Yeah, they had hot number also. Sound the same. Yeah, that's true. The, Better to the have third two album. than none. <laughs> off their third album, Hot Number. Right. Hot Number. Hot, hot number, number. And they had Get Off. It's, that could go so many different ways. There we go, getting funk ass. You like that right there, don't you? Yeah, that's that's. It is. Uh huh. We love red grooves as we do it every Monday night, coming to you live from the studios of Los Angeles, California, streaming live on www.rmconair.com. Uh. Follow, follow the team on. Facebook, follow us on our YouTube page to see all the replays as we keep the project going every Monday night. Who's, the, who's up next week? Next week we have Kashif. Kashif hey. is in the yeah. house. Yeah, that should be a lot of fun. Oh man, great music, great conversation. As we will do it only here. Thank you again for versatile productions and making that happen. Deduction. Production. Production. Produ- production. Uh, versatile production. Help, Lord, help. Versatile <laughs> production. It's like turducken, right? right. <laughs> thank you to our. I didn't even, thank not, you to our sponsors, Wings Limousine, where you ride like a star. And Johnson's Trophies. Big Johnson. That's right. Johnson's Trophies. And also a shout out to our girl, Andrea James. Down, Down Cryer. Yeah, yeah. A win. So, hey, keep us. Oh, well, we didn't do our... Uh, our top five. Yeah, our top five. Uh, we going to do our top five? Yeah. No? No. We'll no. do them next week. Okay. No, I'm going to let Shantanee do hers and then we're going to close. What's yeah. your top five? What's your top five? Uh, Aretha Franklin... Stevie funk. Mo- oh, funk. 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 Um James Brown. Yeah. Number one. Okay. Um I was gonna say somebody, but he doesn't consider funk. Um George Clinton in, in Parliament. Well he is considered funk, but I wasn't thinking about him. Um who else is real funky? Oh, um I like Ike right Turner. There. Even he though he's rock. rock and roll, but I still think he was super funky. No, he was funky, yeah. yeah. And he was very innovative yeah. in uh, rock and roll music and just music in general. Okay. Just like your stepdad. <laughs> oh, my God. Shout out to Anthony Hawkins. Black Murder. Black Murder as a guitar player. Johnny Guitar Watson. Yeah. Yeah. For funk. And I say, even though I don't know if he's funk, he's kind of Motown, but James Jameson, to me, was the bass player. He, he was the original funk. Greatest basically. bass player yes. Yes. ever. Ever. Yes. And ever. he's Funk Brothers, and he's my... In my top five. Okay. There you go. There you Thank go. you, my dear, the lovely right. Shantani Ari, talented and lovely. Thank you so much for that. Uh-huh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh-huh. then maybe we'll have uh, Black Murder call in. Yeah, yes. please, we please. We get him calling for sure. Murder, so she yes. Murder, Murder, she wrote. <laughs> yes. And then we get, thank the young whippersnapper. We ain't thanked you in probably about three months. You are the months. father. Oh, <laughs> we ain't thanked him in about three months. So I know. the young whippersnapper, we appreciate you growing up on the show. And he's learning so much. Oh, yes, he is. Yeah. But continue to support the project of We Love Red Grooves, giving you the grooves all over the universe as we do it. Same groove time. Same groove channel. Yes, yes. Yes, we'll be back with Kashif in the house. Come on. Woo!